Have you ever wondered what the heck these monitor modes in Ableton Live are for and how to use them? Well, if you're like me, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna explain which monitor mode you should use on stage, which one you should use in the studio, and how understanding one of these is gonna unlock and be the key to you getting one step closer to your dream of being Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Stay tuned and I'll talk about all that in today's tutorial. Hey everyone and welcome back to the From Studio Stage channel. Every day on the channel, I post a brand new tutorial, 10 a.m. Central, showing you how to perform on stage with Ableton Live. So if you're interested in that type of content, do me a favor, hit subscribe and enable the bell icon so you see when I go live. Now, in Ableton Live, there's three monitor modes. We have in, auto, in, off. And it's really important to understand when to use each, what's the best on stage, what's the best in, in, in the studio. Uh, because if you don't understand this properly, you'll find yourself in a situation quite like me, where maybe you go to record and everything works great, but then suddenly you can't hear anything back. That's because you don't understand the monitor mode. So let's dive in and let's get started. For the sake of this tutorial, uh, I've got a mic connected with an audio interface into Ableton Live. We're not gonna talk about how I set that up. Uh, and I'm just gonna to kind of do this as an example as a, a normal in-studio recording setup. So I've got my mic connected. Uh, let's record. I'm going to go to in on my monitor mode. You'll hear, hear double just for a second. I'll turn that off so you don't continue to hear double. Uh, but this is where most of us start. We want to record, uh, and in the studio, we got to make sure we can monitor and hear ourselves, so we enable in. So when I turn my track on, when I have monitor set to in, I can hear myself. Let's record. So I'm going to record enable, and we're going to hit record here. Got a little count in, then I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk, then I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna disable record. Now at this point, I've recorded everything, I could hear myself, let's listen back to it, right? This is where most, most of us find ourselves. We're in the studio, recorded, let's listen back. So I'm gonna unmute this, let's play it. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but we're not hearing anything. I see my clip up here, I see myself talking, but I can't hear anything. Well, that's because I have my monitor set to in, what the heck does in do? All in does is allows us to monitor the incoming signal. Why in the world would we ever use this? What's the purpose of this? Well, uh, for me, I found the best use of this monitor mode is when you're on stage or you're performing with Ableton Live. But let me say, for example, let's go into live. Let's create a MIDI track here. And let's say I wanna play a pad part live. So we'll name this pad. We'll go over here to our finder and let's, uh, let's call search for an ambient pad. And we'll go into our instruments here, wavetable, Perfect, this is great. So I'm gonna drop this in. I actually wanna play this pad sound live and use this live with the keyboard. Uh, so I'm gonna go here, go to monitor, and I'm gonna hit input. And when with that pad set, uh, that track created and monitor set to input, all I'm ever gonna hear is the incoming signal. And that's what I want live on stage. I don't want to record something. I don't wanna accidentally record something. I just want to hear what I'm playing and hear that constantly in real time. Now, this could also apply if you're processing vocals or something and you always wanna hear your vocal mic because it's being sent through Ableton Live. Um, think real time. Do I wanna hear this and only hear this as I'm recording uh, as things are playing back? Well, if so, then choose in. But what's best for recording? And I mentioned, I said we would talk about that. What's best for recording? Well, let's go back to our original track here. Let's delete that clip we set up. I'm gonna go to auto now. And let's enable our track. Right now you're, you hear nothing. But in order to hear something through auto, I'm going to record and enable. So there we go, I hear myself. Let's record now. So same uh, setup we had before. We're gonna record, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk. Okay, let's stop this. Uh, I'm gonna disable recording and suddenly my incoming signal goes away, which is great. Now let's do what we did before. I just recorded something, can I hear it? That's the true test. So let's press space bar. We're see. gonna record, I'm gonna talk. Okay, I'm so you can we're see gonna record, I can I'm gonna hear talk, what I recorded we're earlier. Record. Um, but I could also hear my incoming signal at the same time. Auto mode is the best mode for recording because it does two things. And it all depends on the uh, state of live's transport. This is what I mean. So uh, if I have this track set to record, right? Then I'm gonna hear my incoming signal, okay? And if I record something, then I'm gonna hear my input. I'm gonna be able to hear everything fine to record and everything's good. Now, if I stop live's playback, Okay, uh, and record is still enabled, I'm hearing recording. But if I press play now, I'm gonna be able to hear everything fine to record and I'm gonna be able to hear everything. When I'm playing, I no longer hear my incoming signal, I hear what I previously recorded. So auto is the best mode for working in the studio because it functions two ways. It allows you to monitor your incoming signal, and then when you're playing back audio in live, listening back to audio, it's gonna allow you to hear the 
previous signal, previous part that you recorded, which is super, super helpful, okay? So when it comes to performing live on stage, I think input is, or in is the best mode, monitor mode. Uh, when it comes to recording, I think auto is the best uh, monitor mode. But again, I teased at the beginning, what is this off monitor mode? Uh, and I said that this mode is the key to doing your best kind of Ed Sheeran impersonation and living your best Ed Sheeran life. What the heck do I mean by that? Well, I'll explain in just a moment, but before I do, I wanna remind you, if you like a content like this, learning how to perform on stage with Ableton Live, then do me a favor, hit subscribe and enable the bell icon. Uh, you're gonna see when I post a new video every single day at 10 a.m. Central, uh, and you're gonna learn how to use Ableton Live a little better and maybe get closer to the dream of being Ed Sheeran. So again, what the heck am I talking about here? Well. I'm talking about understanding how to use off. And this is what I mean by off. Um, I initially, when I encountered this modern mode, I thought, what the heck is this? Why would anyone ever use it? It makes no sense to me. So let's dive into Ableton Live. I'm gonna delete this clip. Uh, I am going to select off from my monitor mode and we're going to disable the record here. And um, I'm going to enable my track and suddenly you just see, okay, with my monitor set to off, with my track not armed, or even if it is armed, you hear nothing, right? You see how it's kind of grayed out. So why in the world would I ever use monitor? Well, monitor allows you to record to your track. It allows you to hear what you recorded back, but it doesn't allow you to hear it as it's recording. Let me show you what I mean, then I'll explain why in the world you would ever use this, okay? So I have this selected again. I can't hear anything right now, but let's just go ahead and record. So I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk. Then we'll stop playback and let's press play. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk. Right, you see that I'm, I'm gonna hearing talk, what I'm gonna I talk, recorded I'm gonna talk. previously. But then if I stop it, I lose my incoming signal and I don't hear my incoming signal. Now again, the first time I tried this out, I thought, what the heck? Why would anyone ever use this? This makes no sense. But then I thought about, what about a live looping context? What about someone like Ed Sheeran when they're building loops up and you see those moments where they step up to the mic and they're like, singing, doing something, and you can't hear them anymore, and you're like, what the heck is happening? And then suddenly, this beautiful reverberant vocal with multiple harmonies comes out and they're stacking parts. I realize monitor is a super helpful mode if you want to record something, not let the audience hear it while it's recording, but then once you stop playback or re-trigger the clip, then hear it. Let me show you a practical example. But not, I'm not gonna try to do my best at sharing impersonation, but hopefully you'll get what I'm talking about here. So let's delete this clip. Uh, on this track, I'm gonna add an audio effect here. So let's add a reverb. Let's see what we can find. We'll grab this reverb here, we'll drop it on, and I'm just gonna increase the dry wet like crazy amounts, the decay time, just crazy amounts, okay. So I'm talking, you obviously can't hear my vocal. Uh, it's going into live, we can see that it's metering, but we're not hearing it back. But what's happening in the background is my vocal is being piped into that track. There's a lot of reverb on that track and I want to just record something really quickly. So we'll do this again. We'll record enable. I'm gonna talk just for a second. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna immediately then trigger this clip. Okay, so it's triggering and it's playing and we get this massive amount of reverb on my vocal. So if we put this in a context, when should we use off? What's the, the purpose of this? For me in a live performance scenario, particularly when you're doing like a live looping type scenario, using the monitor mode of off is gonna allow you to record and process audio without the audience hearing it, and then have this grand reveal where suddenly they hear this verbed out vocal, layers and layers of, of vocal effects. And so you can do some really cool things with uh, your monitor mode set to off. And again, to me, it all comes down to live performance, performing on stage, and particularly in a live looping scenario. So again, um, to me, understanding these monitor modes is the key to success in Ableton Live, whether you're in the studio or you're on stage. And if you like this type of content, then make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we go live. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.